How was going? Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to your family. We're out here in Kuji, New South Wales Beach. Tide your day out. Alright, yeah. so this is our pre meal before we start the workout. Pre meal. Um, I mean, two so hour walk, man. We have beans and brown rice. It's so a two hour crack walk. Crack beans. Oh, crack beans. beans. Crack beans. Black beans. Oh, black beans. Black beans. Crack beans. Crack beans. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Taji family? Here we are, Koji Beach, doing a Koji to Bondi walk right now. And here we have the boys. With James right here, on, Shari man. and Dylan right there. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it. Yeah, <laughs> cut that part out. All right. I'm gonna look at this hill. So up this hill, right? All we gotta do is go downhill. <laughs> Facts. Work. Work. Learn that, bro. Learn that. Yeah. Would so you learn after that? going up a hill, yeah, it's downhill from there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what heels are? Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 We're on a sand hill right now. That's because we start push ups on the sand before. And I just mm. kept flicking the sand to my own face. That's fine, Michelle. Not bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a shortcut, you know? You don't want to sprint, me, You don't want to sprint. sprint on the Look at this, guys. It's got jandals, man. One guy is just within our reach. So the plan right now is to dive down and swim across, and then we get our workout. Right? Yeah, two workouts. So from here, we're just gonna tuck our bags and one lap. Yeah, we're gonna swim. Hope for the best in the next day. All right, we're gonna use Dylan's bag as our Yeah, we're gonna use Dylan as a float. All right, see you guys. All right, we just arrived at a under maintenance gym. Yeah, it's so, like so, you know, I don't like breaking rules. Last year when I came here, it was like so big. It was just installed. <laughs> there you go. Alright, check me out. Check me out. Right. It's not clean, 
Not today. Do a muscle up, bro. Just, just to compliment that, you know. He didn't fail at all, you know. If you can do a muscle up, oh, it's so easy. Yeah, save it for one by seven. All right, let's do some legs, boys. Save it straight. Wait, do you bring a pre-workout or something? No. Uh, this, this park is so rusty, man. It's crazy. Whoa. Made it to the next uh, yeah, uh, park. Yeah, that Calisthenic Park right now. Bronte. It's, it's not Bronte, it's, it's nah. Bondo. Tamarama. Tamarama. Yeah. We're nearly at Bondo. Nearly there, nearly there. Five, ten minutes, give or take. Yeah. We're good. We're gonna get a nice upper body workout. Let's get it. We're just finishing up. We actually forgot to film during the first part of the workout, but yeah, we're finishing up doing staggering uh, push-ups last night, and then we're just gonna hit the beach, and that's it. All right, you can't hear us right now. Funny James, had a GoPro. And if you had money, <laughs> we're about to swim right now. Uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right. I just finished the swim, kind of. We barely swam, but... I swam! Bro, James I swam. swam! Bro, I dipped in and then I dipped out, bro. It's way too cold. Did he even put his face in the water? Bro, I put my head, my whole head in the water, bro. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. We're about to uh, go to Bondi Junction, get a feed, and then we'll see how it goes from there. All right, so we're all in the car right now. We just came back. We're all pretty... We're all pretty uh, damaged right now, physically, mentally, uh, brainery. 
Yep. Definitely. We're all super tired right now. We had a great nap. I mean, I'm pretty sure these two did. Big Nose and uh, Jordan. Uh, Dylan, no, you were sleeping. I was reading. I was you were reading. Uh, Dylan was, uh, he was awake the whole time, bro. I mean, I dozed off for a little bit too. No, bro. I'm pretty but, sure Dylan um, was like sleeping. Like, he had his head off. It's like micro sleeping. Yeah. Uh, just a summer from the day. I wish the video could have ended up better. We've been preparing for this for about a month. And I don't know, it seemed very underhyped for me because when we actually got to Bondo, the, I don't know, because the environment there, it's quite toxic. It's very, yes, very toxic. Like, my past experience is going to the gym. On the gym that I've been to. gym experience. To the gyms that I've been At a to. calisthenic park, which is. It doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel great. It just doesn't feel great. It's an open public area. Yeah. And I don't know, just during through the uh, the midway of the workout I just got immediately like mentally <laughs> destroyed about what happened I mean it may it, it seems like the smallest thing to get annoyed about but when you think about it when you try to look at it from a different perspective if you guys were there with us you know we were usually when we like to train at Rizzle we blast the music whether, whether it be trap or motivational music and not for, even blast we yeah, just have music yeah on. for the past times that I've been there we'll, we'll always be playing the music out loud and of course we were the only ones with the speaker so we played it out and we were us doing that we're just trying to motivate other people you know we're just sharing the good energy you know, and everyone else seemed music. fine with it yeah no one complained except one elderly guy one and elder, i don't know he's just ringing me as well I don't, yeah i don't know he's done like, damage as <laughs> how he handled the situation was kind of disrespectful to me i guess you're older but of course you know that's like the ancient thinking that or as of, what is it called especially in asia you know you like you gotta respect the elders and that's with me i couldn't be Bro, that better yeah. roast that guy i, be, I can't man. be that confrontational to someone older than me but that's just how i've been raised anyway the whole situation just completely threw me off we totally forgot to film everything so there's not much content or there's not much videos in the actual workout we just filmed a bit filmed everything <coughs> that we did definitely more towards the environment the workout was great yeah, the workout um, it's was definitely yeah. a competitive like uh, atmosphere. Yeah, that, that that was created at Bombay. Like, we're just here to work out. Like, I'm not here to like show that I'm better. Mm. Yeah. One thing that Jordan pointed out too, I didn't really notice this because I wasn't looking at the other guys. <laughs> like, we can all admit, most of the guys there had quite incredible physiques. But the one thing that stood out to Jordan. I didn't really see. I didn't pay much attention. They didn't have legs. They didn't have legs. Yeah, that, that's the one thing. Because yeah, we can we can say that as calisthenic athletes, it's difficult to train legs if you incorporate external resistance into your training. We know that for a fact. That's why we like to incorporate as much external resistance as we can. If not, then we increase the volume. But for these guys, well, just it just seems that they don't incorporate any kind of leg uh, adjustments into their, into their leg training at all if they even do train legs but as an athlete right if you're going into a gym or open public calisthenic park the one thing that you want to see is people who are training extremely hard and we while we were there there were barely anyone making any kind of ugly faces i mean uh, i'm pretty were, sure there were, there were a few of them yeah. yeah there were definitely a few of but them but the atmosphere was just a uh, just to kick back, uh, yeah. yeah, I'll do a few reps. Just chilling, trying to impress. I mean, the last time we went there to perform, that was just for the impress part, right? And we definitely but, impressed. Yeah, this time we went there for an actual, an actual workout. workout. We hit it hard. No one else making grunts, it was just us, right? And it kind of baffles me how there really weren't people training with structured workouts. It was just free balling. I'm gonna do some of these leg raises, do some of these dips, some of these push ups, just basically going around like that 30 minute circuit you see in the gym. And one thing I also like to mention, going past the five minute mark, but it's okay. Uh, Dylan is leaving very soon. So the next video yes, that you guys see, yes, yes. <laughs> if you guys, uh, the next video that you guys will see will probably be uh, Dylan's last video here. But even while he's gone or when he's gone, we'll still be able to upload. The frequency will definitely decrease, but that's okay because we're still here. We won't uh, completely forget about you guys. Definitely not. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Give me the camera. Oh yeah, take the camera. Uh, uh, can you please use more manners, please? Oh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. So, 
as you could see in that video, we did a Koji to Bondi walk, and Koji to Bondi is about two hours. And as you may notice, Bashari, we had to carry Bashari throughout the whole walk. <laughs> what the hell? I took your soul, bro. What do you mean? He's saying he's taking my soul, bro. This guy's driving the car right now. So just keep driving the car. The whole walk? Bro, get the hell out of here. It's been two hours, right? I had, I mean, I chose to do this. I this is an idiot. This guy's an idiot. He did. I walk in slides, bro. Socks and slides. He has the biggest business. Look at this guy. He's wearing phones, man. Yeah, I'm no regrets, bro. regrets, bro. No regrets. No regrets. Bad experience, my feet hurt, but yeah. Once yeah. we get home, we're just chilling, bro. And Dylan here, yeah, he's leaving, walk, he's leaving in two days. Crazy. Walk in bare feet. <laughs> bare feet. Bare <laughs> yeah, feet. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Comment down below what content you guys want more. Thanks. And see you guys in the next video. Looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. And when you get to the point where you can say you let you down, I don't care. Listen to me, no disrespect. I don't care about Glenn. That's not why I do what I do. And I love Glenn. I don't come here and do what I do.